Ryan is a cabaret performer who grew up in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hello, everyone. Hello. A show that I want to make is a combination of Chelsea Handler, The Carol Burnett Show, with a splash of glee. Ryan, I hear your stage show is called Ryan O'Connor Eats His Feelings. It is, it is. And thanks for the plug. <laughs> But what's the story with that? You just it's took the a, it's truth. It's a musical and used it. journey, yeah. a one-man musical journey through my life as a compulsive overeater. I didn't get here, you know, by accident. <laughs> I, I ate my way to the Oprah Winfrey stage. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been on every diet known to man, most of them with you, watching you from home. Like yes. if I had a wagon full of fat, I would wheel it right out. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a really honest, mostly funny, sometimes touching um, one-man show. And I can't believe I'm talking about it on the Oprah Winfrey show. That's amazing. <laughs> Who wants to be on TV? Someone does. How about you, sir? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm scaring everyone away. I feel like I'm chasing pigeons. Mr. No-Nonsense himself, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, thank hey, you for being Ryan, here. Ryan, thanks for having me. Hey, Glad to be pleasure. here. How do I monitor my daughter's relationships well, we all know that daughter doesn't want her mother anywhere near her relationship. No, she doesn't, but that's like just shit. tough. Well, my mom was constantly in my drawer, so well, I know that there's... <laughs> okay, that's a whole other issue if she's in your drawer. Barbara, who we're going to make over, recently lost 140 pounds after her house was burnt to the ground and she lost everything. This is an ambush makeover in the truest sense. I have never felt this much gay responsibility in my life. Look at you getting feisty with the animal print. I see where you're looking, Barbara. Vera Wang, I did some research on you, and you were a professional pairs figure skater. How has figure skating impacted your design overall? Well, I'll tell you, Ryan, I think part of it is that I became very aware of my body. Gay marriage is coming down the pipeline. What advice do you have for them infusing traditional wedding concepts into their gay wedding? That is the one time in your life where you're making the most public statement about your most personal feelings. This has been truly an honor. Thank you so much, Vera. Thank you so much. Hi! Hi. Hey, how fun are you? This week, our segment assignment is to produce a Can I Afford It segment with Susie Orman. Amory and Michael are the couple that we're helping. They want to go on a new honeymoon, so they're looking to us for some financial guidance. And by us, I mean Alicia. Financial genius. Susie Orman, when you first got what you felt was financial stability, what was the first thing you approved for yourself? My first major thing was paying off my mortgage. My mother and I have a severely codependent financial relationship. What's the very first thing that people can do to heal this problematic relationship that I know a lot of people have? Stop taking. Until you show yourself that you can do it on your own, you are powerless. That is so true. I cannot thank you enough. No matter what happens today, this was absolutely an honor and a privilege. So thank, thank you. you very much. Welcome back to The Focus Morning. I'm here with my co-host, Tony Roach. How you doing, Tony? I'm shaking in my boots. How are you? So Tony's got a bit of a dilemma here in the kitchen. And here to help you with your dilemma, I think we have the right person. Curtis Stone. Hi, How's handsome. it going? Good, how are you? Okay. Each piece of salmon, you just place it right on the grill. along the grill like that. Sexy, Curtis. Yeah, yeah, like just a bit. I have a lot of questions about your book. You say, take quality ingredients and treat them simply. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that's a must-do for all cooks? I really believe in taking care of what Mother Nature gives us. I think we'll, if we eat what comes out of the ground as opposed to what comes out of packets, we're in a pretty good space. I have such a crush on you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're fantastic. Lovely much. to meet you. Bye, Thanks, guys. Ryan.